In this life, few are blessed to find their true calling. The unquenchable passion that forges an innate focus and determination. Night and day, it consumes your mind. It cannot be shaken. No obstacle too daunting to overcome. No failure too painful to surrender. The struggle only adds sweetness to the victories. For us, this is duck hunting. This is Foul Minds. Dakota, Hayden. Okay, hey man, I'm Hayden. Hey, what's Clay going on? Man. Greasy hands, yeah, greasy yeah, hands, yeah. cameraman. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, actually, uh, you're, you're too fat. You're too, too, you're too fat. fat. Oh. Yeah, you are. Uh, but you can try to get in there. You, uh -oh. you ready or what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> cameraman, you want to hot? Oh, you're too fat. <laughs> I'm too, way too bro. fat. Sorry, man. Oh, man. Man, that just motivates me more to work out. <laughs> Bunch of them. Look, check out this, uh, yeah, that old truck. Yeah. That's sweet. That yeah, this is a 61 uh, Land Rover. Uh, yeah. This one came from Tennessee. I've been doing a bunch of work, too. So, Clay, tell us what you did here <clears throat> to the front. Uh, well, I mean, pretty much everything on here. Uh, we're using all the F-250, uh, basically front springs, and then on the plasma table, which is back there, I made all the brackets. Um, <clears throat> this is all factory F-250 uh, front suspension, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and I made uh, all the brackets that weld up onto the frame for the track bar, and then uh, in the back with the sway bar, with the... Uh, shackles back there uh, so it's pretty much basically all factory f-250 stuff besides the brackets that I had built, that I had built. and this is a this is a van right so it's like an e econo line and you've done several of the vans yeah I've done a lot of these vans so uh, these brackets would uh, fit basically from a 96 to a uh, I think an 04 or 08 uh, with this style frame you know cool so you can't go buy this in four wheel parts no oh, some custom put together no sweet joe did you break it already <laughs> well, yeah. oh, there's a certain way this blind goes on i'm ready for it to be all put together <clears throat> but uh the bus has come a long way for sure it's uh it's been a heck of a project it's, it's coming together good really good i'm ready to get on the road with it and we're gonna have a lot of fun with this bus this was an airport shuttle bus i believe and then clayton's buddies combined uh converted into a party bus clayton got it somehow and then you know when you're duck hunting sleep is very valuable I never would have thought of it, but Clayton had the idea of, hey, we could take this bus, make it full wheel drive, and uh, basically pull the boat or air, you know, pull the airboat or whatever, sleep wherever we're hunting instead of driving 30, 45 minutes or an hour to the spot, just sleep in this. So the first time I saw this thing, no way, you know, that's a mountain I'm not willing to climb, but. Clayton did it. Mm. I think it's gonna work pretty good. The only thing you need to do on this van, uh, we went and bombed it around. It, drove, it drives really good. It drives probably way better than it did two-wheel drive, is uh, you need to order the steering stabilizer kit mm -hmm. for the front end, mm -hmm. 
and I did the alignment the best that I could, mm. and that's it. Okay. Um, and within 500 miles, I don't know what y'all's really intentions are. Are you guys really hitting the road tomorrow? Mm. Be honest with us. I'm not being, I don't have any more work to do. Y'all do. No, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, this thing is good to drive. Oh. I'm just saying, uh, you guys need to put some miles on this, and there needs to be a wrench put on every single nut and bolt in the front end because it's brand new and you guys are hitting the road. Grease? We need to hit it with a grease gun? No. Okay. Just, no. Look at his face. Get this guy's fucking face. <laughs> I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm the realist, and I don't see this thing going to Idaho, man. I'm not driving. I'm just being It'll honest. It'll go to Idaho right now. I promise you. I think we're ready. This needs the rear tires. Put some tires on the back. All right, he's going inside to eat, and he said he'll be ready. So. All right. So, uh, Danny, have you ever seen an airboat with twin stacks? No. I have. We're a little extra. <laughs> but, uh, we we gotta tune on. that. We gotta put some lift blocks under that. We're done. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, John Smith said the same thing. He's like, wait, y'all are leaving tomorrow? And he's like, well, I guess that's fine. And he's like, I was like, well, I mean, how do you, when you tune something, do you normally have people come right back? He's like, no, I guess it depends, but he's like, just bring your HP tuners and your computer with you. I said, okay, no problem. That is quite the adventure we're embarking on, man. Yeah. So, um, what we're doing now is we're going to grab the airboat, we're going to pull it out of the driveway, kind of angle it up in the ditch, and uh, uh, John Smith uh, is supposed to call Clayton here in a minute, and we're going to try to get the motor tuned. Not looking so good. Fire it up, Hayden. Everybody out of the way? Yep. Oh, not sure. Now for a word with one of our partners. Hi guys, this is James Hard, here to show you a few of the bumpers that we use in the field and why we use them. We'll first start off with the orange bumper. The orange bumper is colored orange because dogs can't see orange. It's a really hard for them. So what we'll use this in is for blinds. So a bird that the dog doesn't see fall, we'll hide it from the dog and we'll send it on a blind retrieve to fetch an orange bumper. The next bumper will be an all white bumper. An all white bumper is going to have high visibility for the dog, especially against dark backgrounds. This will be really good uh, for young dogs and also in dark tree lines, timber, uh, edges like that. For this is a dual color, which is white and black, which this bumper is good for uh, not having as much visibility or in a different light condition or different background. So if you have like a clear skies, what's the best is, is more of a darker tone because they'll actually pick it out a lot easier than a light, especially on bright sunny days. The next thing we'll have is an actual Avery duck bumper, which this helps is actually for the dog to hold the bird while it retrieves. It has a little bit of weight to it and also it's pretty thick. It helps that dog actually hold the duck in the middle of the bird instead of going here because if it goes here it's just going to be too heavy. It's going to be most comfortable for that dog to actually hold it like this. So these are a few tools that we use. For more information look us up at hardretrievers.com. Alright we 
We need a, we need to we need to make a I know you don't like making plans, but Dude, I, I'm telling you I love to make plans, but what I hate more is not following through with a plan like it fucking kills me. Sorry, it kills me to not follow through with a plan. Yeah. I got a pretty good feeling we're not taking the bus tomorrow. Y'all want to see why? Why? I'm pretty embarrassed about this, but I almost killed myself. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a break from there. <laughs> let's look at another disaster. So, it probably freak you out when you see a loose lug nut on there, you know? Ooh. It gets better. It gets better. Come around the other side. We're about that to get the skid steer out for this doozy. Oh. oh, those are all off. There's not one left. Oh, there's one left on there. <laughs> Didn't I see you tightening these down when we were over there? No, that was the front. I, oh I gotta boy. feel. I, I think I know exactly what. Let's happened. make a deer hunting show. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's easy. No, uh, dude. Okay, when did you know about this? It it was like kind of coming out of the and I was like coming out of the driveway like hopping. You know, we heard it. I was like, remember? <laughs> was we like, heard it. I was and like, he <laughs> said. Oh, that don't sound good. Sound he's already kind of <laughs> see. He's warming up to <laughs> us, right. and he start. He's. I could tell cameraman here, Daniel, wants to lecture us. Yeah. But he won't. Yeah. Cause he, but old Kiefer, Keith, oh, oh yeah. dude. He's like, well, you got to just put them lug nuts on there tighter, red yeah, lock tight. you know, heat them up. <laughs> yeah. Heat them up with a torch and tighten them up, you know? But we got a new cameraman on this hunt, and he's, he's modest. He, is, he doesn't know us well enough to know that this is normal. Mm. That's his reaction, calm. Because oh, it's was, normal. My thoughts were like, I wasn't even, whenever I saw that this had happened, I was like, okay, John Smith's about to go to bed, so. Focus on the boat. If I mention this to y'all right now, it's going to take at least 15 minutes of that time to, <laughs> of John Smith's potential tuning, because if we get that done, at least we can take no, off could, of that tomorrow. You could have just been like, hey, we're not taking the bus because the back wheels fell off. <laughs> I'd have been like, all right. God. So basically today we were supposed to get the bus back, um, get the airboat tuned, and then tomorrow morning finish the bus and then head out. Well, uh, which it looked like it was going to happen there for if you ask me. The back wheels fell off the bus. <laughs> so the bus is out. And the airboat's still not tuned, but we will get it tuned tomorrow. And we're getting on the road tomorrow, no matter what. Yep. We're going duck hunting. We're, tomorrow we're heading out. So we're leaving a day later, but we've got a plan now. plan may change again, but it'll be all right. So day one of our duck tour, that's what, that, that, that's what happened. So... We're just, yep. Uh, so tomorrow morning we'll wake up early. We're gonna. Uh, we got. I think we have an injector issue. We have still have a cold cylinder. Uh, we're gonna swap injectors uh, from port to port and see if that's actually the same problem is happening on the uh, same port. Uh, so therefore we can isolate if it's the wiring or the injector itself. And once we've isolated that, it will determine if we need a new injector. If that's the case, I already have bought a new set this morning. So put a new injector in, or if it's the wiring, we're going to pull the harness off or uh, add two new wires uh, straight to the computer, get it tuned around 5 o'clock, and then get on the road. Yep. So tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're going to make some tracks, and we don't know where we're going, but we got options. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Headed to the ducks, destination yeah. migration. If, if, if the ducks won't come to us, we're going to them. 
And it's time to go to bed. Yep. See you in the morning. In the morning.